Hi, Kaylee. Hi. You were fantastic in this movie. How did you get the role of B? What was the process? Thank you. Um, well, we were filming our last season of Walking Dead. We were in Georgia. And I actually was going to take a break from acting for a little bit because I wanted to go to high school. So I told my team they were very supportive of the idea. But then my agent called and she said, I know you want to take a break from acting, but John Krasinski has this movie and it's called If and it's a fun family movie. If you want to audition for it, you can. No pressure. So I was like, oh, my God, yes. I love John. I knew him from The Office. So I knew it was going to be good just because I was such a big fan of him. So I think I, I think I had a meeting um, with him before my audition. I don't remember exactly what we talked about, but he probably just gave me like a little rundown of what it was about. And then I got to go to New York for my audition and John and Ryan were in the room. I remember being so nervous, but then as soon as I walked in there and I like introduced myself to them, I, all my nerves just like left my body. So then um, I got to do a scene with each of them, I think, for my audition. It, I thought it went really well. So then I went back to Georgia to keep filming the last season of Walking Dead. And me and John had scheduled a Zoom meeting, and then he offered me the role. I heard that you're, you were a big fan of The Office, but John Krasinski didn't know that until Steve Carell showed up on set. <laughs> what was it like to work with people from your favorite show? Well, it was really cool. Steve was never on set with us just because he was only a voice. Oh. But I was really excited um, just to hear his voice is blue. I actually got to meet him before the movie came out. I was doing an ADR session for the movie. And I was waiting. Me and my mom were waiting in the lobby. And I was so excited. Just like, you know, whenever you do ADR, you get to like see the scene. So I was excited. That was my first time like seeing a little piece of the movie. So I was like itching to get started. But then Allison, our producer, walks out to go get like a snack or something. And she was like, oh yeah, hey, um, just, just a few more minutes. We're finishing up with Steve. And I didn't know that he was going to be there. And I was like, oh my God, like, oh my God, oh my God. I was freaking out. They finish, Steve walks out, gave him the biggest hug. He's the sweetest person on the planet. Um, and then I actually got to watch him do a little bit of blue. And I thought that I was just going to laugh, which I did. I almost fell out of my chair laughing at him because he's so good. But I also cried my eyes out just because it was so special to see him like doing it right in front of my eyes. So that day was very special. I love Steve. He's so hilarious. He's so good as blue. Um, so yeah, I was, I was, that was one of my favorite days. And what was your favorite scene to film for the movie? That's hard. Um, I, I kind of have to say the dance scene, but I have a lot of favorites. Just because I've been I've been dancing since I was one, it's always been my dream to dance in a movie, which I got to do. So I love doing that. Um, I could talk about that for hours, but I'll spare you the time. I also loved if interviews with Ryan. I was it was so funny. Um, he's just the best. And anytime we shot in Coney Island, I really liked that too. Just because I had never been to Coney Island, so John was telling me what it was like. And then whenever we got there, I was like, oh my god. Because it's literally like an amusement park in New York, and I had no idea. So I, I had a fun time doing that, too. And what was the best bit of advice that you received from John Krasinski as a director? That's a good question. He gave me so much advice. It's kind of hard to narrow it down. Um, he does so many unique things as a director. I think that's what makes him so good. Um, I always had a fear of looking silly especially with like little pieces with the ifs like whenever Cosmo runs around me I was really I was really nervous that I was gonna look weird but he always told me just to have fun so have fun was a good one and he was always right the more fun you have the better it looks on camera um another thing he did he always gave us the room before we started a scene whoever was involved whether it was me and Fiona or me and Ryan me and Bobby whoever um so he let us kind of go through the scene and work out all the little bumps in the road, things like that. If we had any questions, he would answer them. Um, there are so many, though. That's, those are just a few. And who was your favorite if in the movie? I think I have to say Lewis. I have a lot of favorites, so I feel bad picking between them. 
but I just love Lewis. He's so cute and he's just a soft, cuddly teddy bear. But he also gives the best advice. And I think he has some of the best pieces of dialogue in the movie. Now that you've gotten to do a movie where you've got to dance in it, what kind of movie would you like to do next? Would you like to do a musical? A musical would be cool, but I can't sing. So <laughs> if I could be like a background dancer in a musical, that would be really cool. <laughs> um, honestly, if was my dream project, I have always wanted to dance in a movie. I got to do that. I've always wanted to do something fun and like a fairy tale, magical, whimsical, and that's exactly what it is. My whole family got to watch it. Um, my If I could have picked a dream cast, I mean, John did it. He got everyone that I could have ever imagined. So, yeah, if was my dream role. I don't, it's hard for me to think about the future because I'm still stuck on this movie. You were saying that you wanted to take a break before. Are you taking a break now before you take on any more projects? I am not. I got to take a break um, from the time that we shot if to the time it came out. I got a break between there and I got to go back to school and be on the dance team and go to football games and things like that. I live in the South. So football and like Friday night lights is like a big thing here for high school. So I wanted to experience that and I got to do that, which was really cool. So I got to do both. Well, I want to thank you so much for chatting with me today. You were just brilliant in this film. I was watching you and thinking they could not have picked a better actress for the role. You were Thank just you. and it was such a fun movie to watch. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. If you're new here or if you're returning but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap it now plus the notification bell in the top right hand corner so you don't miss out on any new celebrity interviews. Also, hit the like button and tell me below in the comments, what are your favorite shows or movies? Who are your favorite stars? I can't promise anything, but I'll keep them in mind for future interviews.